Hello guys, it's Katie and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I have some crochet pattern ideas for your car. So these are going to be ideas for decor and some items that I think would be useful to make to have in your car or maybe as a gift for somebody else for their car. So as normal for all of these pattern idea videos, I include all of the patterns on one Pinterest board and that is going to be the first link in the description box below for you guys so you can see the exact items that I am putting the pictures on the screen. So with that then we're going to just get started. So if you guys saw a while back I did a video of crocheting decor items for my own car and the first couple ideas that I'm sharing with you are items that I made for my own car. If you want to watch that video I can link it below for you. But that video is what inspired this video where I figured I could show you some other pattern ideas that you guys might like to make for your cars or again like I already said for gifts for somebody else. So first idea is little items that hang from your mirror. So this one specifically is my own pattern and it is a free pattern for this little sunflower. If you guys saw the video where I made items for my car, I made my whole car sunflower themed. So this is the pattern that I made specifically for hanging from my car mirror and I absolutely love it. It's just super small but it is just like such a cute little detail to tie in the whole sunflower theme of my car and I absolutely love it. So this is really small. I also use it to put on keychains as well and it works out really nicely. So again, free pattern that you can use for that. And just a little life hack for you guys, there's multiple ways that you can make like little hangers to hang from your car mirror. So you could just make a chain and like tie it. Or what I like to do personally is I actually buy extra stretchy hair ties from like Walmart or something that are meant for your hair. But if you buy the extra stretchy ones, they fit around car mirrors. And that's what I use to put them on the mirror so that it doesn't hang down too low to where you can't see around it when you're driving, but you can still see it. So that's what I do. And I've also made stuff for my mom's car and my dad's truck, and I do the same trick and it works out really nicely. So another pattern that's also by me that I wanted to share with you because this is another idea. And I also have this hanging from my car mirror that I made like years ago. And this is a mini dream catcher. So this pattern, super cute. And you can see on here how I have the hair tie attached so that it goes around the car mirror super smoothly. And again, it doesn't hang down too low. So I really like doing that little trick. And again, these mini dream catchers, one of them is in my car and the other one is in my dad's truck. And yeah, they've been there for years and we both like them a lot. And now these are just the two ideas that I saved for hanging from your car mirror. But pretty much anything that would be small enough you could make and put on a hair tie like I mentioned or a chain or whatever and hang from your car mirror. But again, I just shared the ones that I have in my car just in case you're interested. But yeah, there's a ton of ideas of course. Next is a steering wheel cover which these you do have to be really careful when you're making. It's easiest if you make them and try them on your steering wheel as you are making them. But this pattern specifically I made for my car and it worked out really well. I did just have to do a couple more decreases than the pattern suggested. So that's why I recommend going to your car specifically and maybe doing those decreasing rounds as you're sitting in the car. That way you can keep trying it on. And if it's too loose, you can do more decreases. If it's too tight, then you can do less decreases. But do keep in mind that you want it to be tight. Otherwise, when you're turning the steering wheel, it will slide around. But you don't want it to be too tight where it's gonna rip as you're putting it on and taking it off. So yeah, just something to keep in mind. But there's a lot of different steering wheel cover patterns. This is just the one that I used. And I think it's really pretty. So, of course, there's this one. Next, this idea I thought was really cool. This is a car vent clip. This one specifically is a flower. And you just put, like, essential oils in it and have it on your car vent. And when the air comes out, you can smell 
whatever scent you chose and i think it's a really cool idea i might even consider doing something like this for my car and yeah this one is another free pattern so definitely worth it even if you just want to do this as like a little stocking stuffer or something like that for the holidays coming up i think this would be a great idea next is car coasters so this is the other item that i made for my car in the video i made ones specifically that were actually meant for like regular coasters and they were just like a small size and you could do that with pretty much any coaster pattern as long as it is small enough to fit in the cup holders of your car then it should work but this one is specifically car coasters that's why i saved it because it should be small enough but yeah you can also find tons of other coaster patterns just make sure that they're going to be small enough for your car but they are definitely a great idea especially if you make them in like cotton that way you can just throw them in the wash if you end up spilling something on them next is a seat belt cover which i don't know about you guys but sometimes the seat belt can like dig in to your shoulder or whatever so a seat belt cover can be nice especially if you make it in like fluffy yarn or whatever so i definitely think this is a good idea next for an idea is just seat covers in general so this pattern is on somebody's etsy for purchase but it is a head cover and a seat cover i know they have patterns for like just the head cover or just the seat cover but this one i saved because it was both it's of course a bigger project but it is a cool idea if you are willing to spend the time to make it now this is getting more so into the ideas that are useful instead of like decor but this is a car waste basket so this is meant for garbage of course but even if you just wanted to make it to put like books in or magazines or something like that anything could work in it but also using it for garbage is probably a good idea as well and even if you wanted to make it and then put like little walmart bags or grocery bags in there so that you could take it out really easily that would work as well so i definitely thought this was a useful idea whether you wanted to actually use it as a trash bin or just use it for storage in general either way i thought it was a pretty good idea next we have another decor idea which this one is fuzzy dice i know a lot of people have dice that hang down from their car mirror so i thought if you wanted to go for something like that you could crochet your own so that is a pattern for these and now the final few ideas are again more useful ideas so this one is a really awesome idea for extra cup holders if you're like me and you end up having multiple drinks in the car at once and maybe you have a small back seat or something this could be really nice for storing extra drinks or really for storing anything even if you wanted to get like a little cup and put like pencils in it or something like that could work too next we have this trunk net which again is really cool they show this with groceries so that's going to be really useful to make sure that things don't slide around or slide out when you open the trunk so definitely a good idea for that and i imagine you could probably make like a second one if maybe you have a really deep trunk and you don't want the groceries to slide too far back you could probably make two of them to where there's a little area to where the groceries are going to stay right there instead of sliding too far back or too far forward next this isn't something that's actually like in your car but key fobs in general for your car keys are a pretty good idea and i always have some sort of lanyard or something on my keys because especially when i go yarn shopping i end up bringing in multiple bags at once and i don't have enough room for my keys if i don't have a lanyard i end up dropping them so i keep a lanyard so i can put it around my neck or something but also a key fob like this one that is smaller is nice so you can put it on your wrist anything like that is really useful so you might as well crochet some either for yourself or for gifts or even to sell quite a few of these ideas i think would sell well as well and now my final idea that i have for this video might seem a little weird but i'm gonna explain it to you so this is a zipper pouch which i don't know about you guys but i have multiple zipper pouches in my car i have one that is like makeup i have one that's like perfume and deodorant like different stuff like that i am the type of person that will always be prepared for whatever is happening so i thought it would be really cool to make your own zipper pouches so you can have 
organization in like your console or your glove box for different things that you might want to bring around with you. Of course there's different sizes and all of that that you could make but I thought that this would be another useful idea to keep in your car. As well as if you wanted to make bigger bags, maybe like market bags would be good for keeping in the trunk of your car for whenever you go grocery shopping. If you want reusable bags, that could also be something good to keep in your car. Again, not really like used for your car, but something for your car. So anyways, you guys, that is all for the ideas in today's video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found this video helpful. Maybe to decorate your car or just have some items that are gonna be helpful in your car. If you did enjoy this video, please do give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite idea was from this video. And maybe if you have any other ideas that people can make for their cars that I did not share in this video, definitely leave those in the comments below. And if you guys wanna make sure you don't miss out on any videos from me in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and turn on the post notification bell that way you know every single time I upload a brand new video. And if you guys do wanna see more from me, you can always check out more videos of mine my blog, my Etsy shop, my Rebel shop, all of my social medias, and my second channel. All of that is always included in the description box down below for you guys. And with all of that, thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and I will see you guys here in the next one. Goodbye!